it's important to remember that hair never stops growing. It grow until the day we die. However, if you've been at the same length for just a little while, then it's possibly slow growth or it's just simply breaking, just hair breakage. The question you should be asking yourself is, why is my hair breaking? Y'all keep in tune. So there's a millions of factors out there, a million of factors out there that we can possibly think of that, that causes our hair to, you know, break a lot and to keep you from growing. Number one, bad dieting. And the reason why I say bad dieting is because there's a lot of people out here in this world that's not even firm believers that you're not, are, that, that you're not what you enter to your system. You are what you enter to your system, regardless of what it may be. You want better results and better nail care, better hair care, better skin care, you gotta make sure you pay close attention to what you put into your body. This also includes a lots and lots and lots and lots of water. People fail to realize that water takes up and consumes so much of our body. Water is so essential and a lot of people lack that in their system and it, and it causes them to have a lot of dry, a lot of dryness to their system. Along with the water, you also want to take consideration of your vitamins. A lot of people don't don't like to take supplements and, and things like that. And that's not just for the elderly. You ain't gotta be old enough in age to be taking vitamins and all of these different things, you know, that help your body and your system. Start taking vitamins early. Right now, I'm taking, you know, um, these Alive Men um, Energy Vitamins, along with my prescription vitamins that I actually get from, you know what I'm saying, from my actual pharmacist monthly. You know, so taking vitamins and, you know, drinking a lot of water and watching what you eat it pretty much all plays a role and a big factor to the way your hair actually grows and how healthy it can become over time. Many of y'all tend to, to, you know, to do a lot of aggressive detangling. I remember seeing my seeing my little brother when he was young. Or I'm sure y'all got that imaginary uh, baby kid where you know you just had that you know you just had that one sister, you had that one mom and dad just you know t you know just you know just take a comb somewhere, they find a comb and they would just rake. They would they would literally physically beat the kid's brain please don't be that one it's gonna cause a lot of pressure to the head and it's gonna cause a lot of breakage don't do too much de aggressive detangling you try to take it easy take it smooth and nice and treat your hair as if you're treating your teeth you're not gonna beat your teeth in like that you're gonna take it nice and easy same thing with your hair number three chemical colorization a lot of y'all use too much of these chemicals and not just simply chemicals, but the colorization itself. Using all of these dyes and chemical based products that you guys are using, and it's causing a lot of breakage and a lot of damage to your hair. A lot of these chemicals contain alcohol and alcohol to anything. I don't care what alcohol it is. It can be glycerol, to glycerol, to tisserol, to tissyrol. However they be pronouncing it, you know, it be all kind of weird stuff on, on the back of the container. But you know when it says alcohol, it gotta be a hazardous thing. It may not be able to kill you on sight, but it's going to kill your hair in some type of way. Pay close attention. Some of y'all females got to chill with these tight styles. I be saying some of y'all getting these tazillions, bazillions, kabillion, bazillion, lalillion, bazillion. What kind of shit is that? I stopped wearing all of these weaves, to be honest. I know I'm gonna get beat up when I say this. A lot of y'all females probably come on this thing and, and you know, and try to blow me up. But y'all gotta start loving yourself, you feel me? And people will say, oh, well, I love myself, I wanna try something new. God gave us beautiful, natural, willy hair. And it's been beating up upon the, the, the so-called black community. So perceptions of us, and when they give you these, these names like coarse, nappy, nasty, dark, these are things to downgrade us. And when you hear these things, it becomes a systematic program where you're like, okay, nappy hair is bad. This is bad. That is bad. Let me get straight this. Let me get straight that. Let me do this and do that. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. You do not need all of these weaves and this and that to keep yourself to say, well, it makes my hair grow. You can let your hair grow at ease on its own. And if you want good results, you gotta put time into it. And that's why for this next reasoning, I'm gonna say specifically, 
lack of care. Good results, anything, you're gonna put time and effort into it. So your hair might be a hustle. I mean, it's natural hair, you feel me? It's not, it's not nothing that's synthetic or fake. So of course you're gonna have to stay on top of your game with it. It's all a process. Y'all males in the community wanted to come at ease. You gotta be able to sit there and put time and effort into it with anything. And that's even besides the wave community. I believe a lot of y'all too overstyle it too much, man. Sometimes you can overdo the process. Part your scalp and actually feed it with products. A nice amount of products because what it is is that you have a plant growing without fertilizer and water, and then you have another plant that's growing, you know, with it. Which plant is going to look better? And it's obvious. You have to give yourself that nutrition. But also be careful, because sometimes you can give it too much of the hair food. That's when too much protein comes into play. You can give your hair too much of something to the point where it overreacts to it and where it don't react at all. Sometimes you can put too much product in your hair, you, you, you tend to get an itch. I'm not sure if y'all ever get that. I had one time put some product in my head, man. I think it was some herbal um, hibiscus cream. Hey, man, my hair felt like it was on fire, man, literally. I thought I had bugs in my head, man. I started bugging out, man. I almost cried to death. It can cause a lot of irritation to the scalp. Some of y'all can be using the improper tools as well. Sometimes you can apply too much heat pressure to the point where it also causes breakage. I highly advise a lot of people to dry their hair out naturally by just natural air. If you try to use any type of heating process, to the roots and actually cause that breakage. Cause I remember when I used to go to the little hair salons with my moms, my, you know what I'm saying, my sisters, they used to sit up under them heat things and they, they do not want you to bother them neither, you know. You know, these little blowers and everything, I used to just sit there and look at myself like, wow, literally got a, a skillet on top of your head. But try to stay away from it. Um, pay close attention to that. But I mean, it's, it's a ton, it's a ton of reasonings out there and it's a ton of studies you know to actually go about hair care and things like that and a lot of and this video is pretty much exempted from those who have you know certain genetic disorders and actually detour them from you know hair growth and things like that but just for those who can make sure you guys take consideration into it man you know i just wanted to come with this video to save me because a lot of people was actually wondering um, for the natural hair itself of growing it, it's a lot of great products out there that you guys want to take consideration into. I personally love oils. If you guys can do a lot of uh, research with oils, you'll see that oils do a lot of deep penetration, also help the hair grow. For the wave community, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Poppy Blast's um, remedy solution, but I believe it's RTB. RTB is, is a product that actually um, the Royal Productions came out with with, um, with Just Wavy and Poppy Blast it to actually formulate um, a specific product to help waivers um grow the hair i'm not actually for sure how to actually work so i never tried a product never did a product review on it but it's a lot of great reviews in the health community so if you guys like that link i will also put that link down in the description down below it's your boy way fizzle man thank you guys for actually staying tuned and watching this video any new suggestions feel free to comment down in the section down below y'all stay tuned for more never stop brushing